Um, Biden's big win exposes the GOP's nihilism, but we, we pugs resort to lies to fight the Inflation Reduction Act. Now, even though the historic Democratic Climate Bill, which was coyly named the Inflation Reduction Act, has been secretly in works for months, which we already knew about, but the timing of its passing on Sunday had the air of an emergency. The hot, humid weather on the East Coast that surrounded the Senate building where the Votorama was held was universally described as oppressive, with the dangerous heat index reaching into triple digits. The feeling is made worse by the understanding that these record heats aren't an, anom an anomaly, but the new normal for a planet that has already gained to 1.1 Celsius in average temperatures, and it keeps getting fucking hotter. Now, this heat follows other apocalyptic weather events, including the horrific floods in Kentucky that have killed at least three dozen people. Now, while the current president, Joe Biden, heads to the Bluegrass State on Monday, um, um, he headed to the Bluegrass State on Monday to, sur to survey the, suf the suffering caused by the floods, and the Senate Minority Leader Moscow Mitch thinks he knows who the real bad guys are, the Democrats who are trying to do something to slow down the such catastrophic weather. Now, Moscow Mitch claims that the American people are clear about their priorities, insisting that the Americans don't care about the environment. Um, yes, I do. I'm one of the people that cares about the environment, and there's more people like me that do. The environmental regulation is a 3% issue. Um, no, it's not. It's bigger than that. As people in his state are still burying the Johnny victims, McConnell claims... What they really are worried about is inflation, crime, and the border. Now, yes, inflation is a pressing issue for many Americans because they can't pay their bills with the, with the cost of the inflation. But this bill, as its title indicates, is actually meant to address just that particular issue. And not just in the short term either. The, the long-term investments in clean energy directly address the driving engine of much of our inflation woes, the staggering cost of gasoline, and more to the point, climate change is, is an existential issue for not just Americans, but humanity. Which is why two-thirds of Americans want the government to do something about it, a number that includes more than half of the Repug voters. Now, indeed, that even Repug voters are on board as something of a miracle, as if as they've been subject to literal decades of propaganda portraying climate change as a hoax, which it's not. Now, long before Donald Trump's big lie or the small but evil lies pouring out of McConnell this weekend, the GOP was embracing um was embracing information as its um, disinformation as its main political strategy through false claims. That climate change was made up by nefarious Democrats for vaguely socialist issue on um, purposes purpose issues, which it's not. It's arguable that the GOP embrace um that the, the GOP embrace of the noxious um climate change, um lie of the noxious um um noxious um climate change lie, started the party and the path to becoming the party of Trump, a nihilistic party that's woolly built on lies, which stands in, in opposition to basic decency, often for more, often for no reason other than mindless opposition to anything. That smacks of progress. Now, Sunday's vote on the climate change bill was close to clear approval of this. What's remarkable about the Democratic bill is that it contains few, if any, of the environmental regulations on industry that traditionally fuel Republican hostility to fighting climate change. As the New York Times anal um, analysis explains, lawmakers replaced the, the sticks of carrots. Gone are previous proposals for the hard limits on carbon pollution or even strategies like a carbon tax. Instead, the bill is a giveaway to both consumers and industry a bunch of tax credits and direct investment to get Americans to switch to clean energy, and most of the money, frankly, is going straight to business interest. It, clear, it cleverly illustrates just how deeply anti-progress the GOP is now. It's not just that they will destroy the planet to stick it to the Democrats. Um, repugs are even standing in the way of the kind of corporate giveaways that used to be the bread and butter of, of repugnism. They are now standing in the way of their traditional support for corporate profits by voting against this bill. They would rather condemn their own children and grandchildren as well as all the babies that they wish to force women to force on women through their abortion bans to an increasingly un unlivable environment rather than let Democrats have a win. Um, the idea that the repugs have become a death cult took hold during the COVID-19 pandemic as repugs reflexively opposed any effort to slow the spread of the virus, and that wasn't just true when the disease could only be checked by business hurting lockdowns. Um, repugs also opposed efforts to vaccinate Americans despite the fact that doing so will return the economy and corporate profits back to normal. Democrats wanted to end the pandemic, so repugs ended up functionally fighting on the behalf of that virus. As it was argued back in 2018, a book in a book called Troll Nation, the hatred of Democrats has so consumed the repug party that they have a knee-jerk opposition to anything that Democrats even cared about, no matter how banal or non-controversial. Later that year, Adam Serwer of the Atlantic made a similar point, um, made a similar point in a viral essay. He argued that what binds repugs together as a party is sadism. The suffering of others is an adhesive that binds them to one another and to Trump. 
and the boat and the climate bills further approval of just um, um, repug depravity. Every single repug um, repug senator voted against the climate bill, and for no uh, and for no real reason outside of an un, uh, of an instinctual distaste for relieving the suffering of the people that they were elected to represent. Now, thanks to the donor controlled um 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 the donor controlled um closet rep um closet repug from Arizona, Senator Chris, um Kirsten Cinema. The bill is no threat to the wealth inequalities um, that the Repugs have always defended. As environmental journalist David Roberts outlined on his podcast, the only reason this bill is expected to be effective is because it gives money to industries that already wanted to go greener anyway. There's no real reason for Repugs to oppose this bill outside of sticking it to the Democrats. It's all very much like the Repug and um, insistence on pushing anti-abortion laws in the public. Now, voters hate abortion bans and economic projections suggest that they will be a disaster not just for individuals, but for the country as a whole. Um, repugs don't care, however, because their loathing of feminists have, have, have eclipsed all common sense. They'd rather destroy democracy than let voters get in the way of their, um, of their sadistic um, intentions, and that they are fighting to make the planet even more miserable for the babies that they would force on women just adds to the overall sense that what feels repugs nowadays is unchecked malice. Monday morning, um, Judd Legum and Cal, and Cal um, Tharp a popular info published a searing ex expose of a shadowy group called Untitled for um, un un United for Clean Power, which has been running ads claiming to oppose the climate bill from the Democrats, using pictures of progressive members of Congress and falsely implying that they opposed the bill. The group demanded um, demanded um, and they demanded um, environmental justice or kill the re um, reconciliation bill. This all or nothing demand, unsurprisingly, turned out to be funded by, repu uh, by the repu by the repug interest masquerading as progressives, hoping that they could leverage people's desire for more climate action to keep anything from happening at all. These ads speak deeply of how the Repugs, um, Repug Party has become nothing but a party of fucking pathetic trolls. They know that reducing carbon emissions is both necessary and popular. They know that their actual reasons for opposing the climate bill are, uh, are utterly indefensible, so instead, they turn to dishonest tactics like this, trying to sow internal fights among Democrats over whether the bill goes up far enough. The hope is that people forget that if repugs had their way, the response to climate change would be burn it all down. It's a tactic of a party that has nothing to offer but destruction and lies. <clears throat> now, repugs love pretending to be pro-life, but with this vote against the climate bill, we're once again reminded that they turned into a death cult, and they're not pro-life. So if you like the video, you can give the video a like and subscribe to my channel, RBW King. You can also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out. And if you want to support my work even further, you can donate to my Patreon link, which you can find in the About section of YouTube. And for just a little to a few bucks a month, your donation can help go a long way, and thanks for listening.